urban reconstruction plan should have been unveiled in place. This, this calls for all because of Flint the is an example of urban no, reconstruction. But all the candidates should have been there. Not a press release that I'm aware of, not a memo not, that I'm aware of, no rapid response from any from my people in the Democratic Party. But you know what they and should, the party should be involved in that. I mean, we should be outraged. They should be somewhere. leading a direct action yes. against Governor Snyder's administration at a minimum, shutting down occupying the state office building in Flint until bottle water is restored and until real commitment is made from the United States of America from the top down, sorry Donnie, but from the top down and Governor Snyder's administration. I we have to engage in direct action to get the attention and the care necessary for this human rights travesty. It's a human rights travesty. There's no such thing as a Flint water crisis. This is a human rights Right. The, the mayor has said that it's insensitive. That's an insensitive move. However, no one came behind her. I didn't see her well, show up and show up. Let me, let me read. Let me read. And I'm sorry uh, for for those of you who are listening and you, 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 you know you're hoping for a democratic win. Let me read what Bill Shuley told. Uh, the free press yesterday. Uh, it seems to me that bottled water distribution in Flint should continue until lead pipes have been replaced and trust in government has been restored. That's what he said. He's a Republican saying that. And he knows that they have not been restored. And they're trying to give the illusion of saying that they have been restored well enough so you can go back to drink water. That is a lie. Straight out lie. And we should not accept that. And the Democrats, I am dismayed. But no one is speaking out. They still have not shown up. But no one is speaking out but Shuri. He has the whole court to himself. The court of public opinion because of these weak, spineless Democrats. I mean, someone should have been on the front line for Democrats. These phony white liberals, Dan Kildee, Debbie Dingle, they lined up to form a lynching party for Congressman John Conyers to drive here from Congress. But where is Kildee in aggressive leadership pattern? Where is Debbie Dingle when it comes to simply getting free bottle water to 100,000 people that have been poisoned in Flint, Michigan, you phony white liberals. You don't deserve a vote or a support from, from the main component of the Democratic Party constituency. This is the responsibility not only of that national leadership, but our local leadership, so they don't have any power in, in Lansing. But they have power to voice their opinion about this situation that is impacting several thousand people across the, uh, the state. Not only in Flint, there are people that are going to see that happen in Detroit. We watch Watch out now. It is just not a Flint situation. This is about Michigan. This is about people that live in our, na in our neighborhoods, in our country.